leaders. Is this really fair if the county government is deciding that these people should leave by 5 p.m.? And in addition to that, the amount of money that the county is proposing to give the people who are affected is 250,000 Kenya shillings. We've just had a meeting with the officials from the county, the CECs, the chief officers, even for disaster management. The budget for disaster management is 245 million Kenya shillings. If I'm right, Bwana uh, MCA Karani Mweshimiwa. And out of 245 million Kenya shillings, the county government is giving 250,000 Kenya shillings <laughs> to the fire victims, not from an individual, but from the county government of Nairobi. Honestly speaking, this is inhuman, and the government, the national government, through the deputy president, promised the people of Mbakasi, the fire victims, that these people would be resettled within one hour. That is the promise that we were told, and he said it, and it's there uh, in, uh, on record. And how can a person be in, so inhuman to an extent that people who are burnt here must be forced out just because we are saying that we can't take care of them? This is so sad. And you could see when we were at the meeting, the CECs were walking out one by one, the chief officers were walking out one by one, they were called, given instructions, probably to leave the meeting. We did not conclude our meeting well, but I told them that these people will not leave Embakasi Social Law until there's sufficient evidence that they can be resettled well. These are human beings. These are not goats. Even animals have shelters. Even animals are, are sheltered. So the extent to which we can decide that the people who are now here should be thrown out. The problem with bans, when you get a ban, you, you will suffer because of two main things. Number one, number one, your skin is exposed to the sun. Therefore, you lose water, you will be dehydrated, and somebody can easily die as a result of that. Number two, you can get infection from any other place because your skin is exposed to infection. Skin is the largest organ of the body. If you don't have a skin to protect you, and what about the sun? So definitely, we are destroying the lives of these people. We are sending these people to the grave, and we won't allow that as a leader. On moral authority, on a humanitarian ground, we will not allow these people to live here until the county government, which has a fund, a kitty, of 245 million, that should take care of such disasters, that should take care of this by giving, allocating sufficient money for people to go and rent houses. How much is a rent for these people in the slummy areas? Is 6,000 Kenya shillings per month. For two months, it's 12,000 Kenya shillings. These people will not work for the next six months because it takes at least four months for a ban to heal. So we need 12,000 for rent. Then we need food for these people. We cannot say that we brought rice and beans here, therefore we've, we've given them food. These people must also be treated as normal people in the community. Okay? They must have balanced that because now they also need a recovery process. Wezi waweka hapa na maragwe na mchele kila siku. That, that, that should be taken care of. The third thing that should be taken care of is clothing. These people's clothes were burnt, raised down, including toothbrush, including a toothpick in a house, was burnt down. They have literally nothing. What they are carrying here are only their bodies with the clothes that they wore on that day. They've, never, they've not changed. There's nobody who is taking care of this. Where did humanity go? Why shouldn't we just resettle these people well? Why can't the president come out and say that the affordable housing that he was giving to Kenyan citizens, these are the first victims who should be given houses. These are the first victims who should be given houses. There are houses here at Ngara which are complete. Bona was Ipelekwe Uko, we only need around uh, 300 units for these people to be resettled. Bona was Iwekwe Uko on humanitarian grounds because Manyumba Zimeisha Uko are uh, affording uh, affordable, and afford, and affordable houses. So, this is in short, before I give Mweshimiwa time to speak, what we've decided. That number one, 
the people of Embakasi East and the victims who are here. These people should not be allowed to leave this place because they are going to die. Tomorrow you will be called that your neighbor died because of negligence. We owe them a duty of care. We will be vicariously liable for murdering these people. We will be vicariously liable for sending these people to their graves. Just because we agreed that these people should be taken out. Some of the officers were telling me there that oh, wengine wanataka tu fair waende nyumbani kwao. Ukisha pata fair, hiyo maumivu yote. Kama juzi walienda mpaka hapa, walienda mama Lucy. Walifanya vizuri ku wave bills. Una give credit where it's due. Lakini damadawa zenye ziliandikwa za antibiotics haiko hata moja ina prevent ina, 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 ina prevent nini uh, uh, infection what will that do to these people wakitoka nje ile kitu nyalifanywa siku ya kwanza the next thing utasikia infection imeshika mkono the next thing unasikia mtu anakatwa mguu anakatwa mkono ama mtu anakufa some people wamekuwa burnt kwa face will you cut the head always he cut the head off so honestly speaking let us take care of these people as normal human beings without putting politics in this. So as area member of parliament, I will not allow these people to live here. If they are not settled well, and there are those in the hospitals, must also must never be discriminated on. Why we treated equally? Our to wate kama wanapata usaidizi, wate wanapata usaidizi equally. So mimi nataka kuambia ma relatives ya wenye wako hapa. Usikubali, mtu wako toke hapa. Kama uko na pesa ya kutake care of them ni sawa. Kuna contribution yenye sofa, yenye MPs wame contribute. Baba niliwambia litoa 1 million, mimi nilitoa 1. Kama mimi ndio natoa 1 million. County government of Nairobi natoa 250,000. Shameful. What is that? So, so generally, so generally, generally the least amount of money that these people should get. The least amount of money mwenye mtu atoke hapa na pia atajitibu because akishatoka hapa hata rudi hospitali ataombwa pesa si ni kweli ataambiwa now we are taking care of you kama we panga laini toa pesa the least amount of money that the county government should give is 100000 per person 100000 you are sure utapata rent utapata utapata clothes utapata watoto wajaenda shule ni manyumba zao zimechomeka watoto wako hapa wanalia ma uniforms zimechomeka Kwani ni how much yenye nafasi sasa tupatia watu. So sisi pia kama MPs we are contributing money MPs have done well they are contributing money and so far tumefika 3 million Kenya shillings. So kama tumefika 3 million county government county government na 245 million tukitoa siasa inatoa 250000 kupatia kila mtu 10000 Kenya shillings hawa si watu wa smoky wenye walikuwa napewa pale 10000 smoky at least wende uchukue uchukue tena stock nyingine uchukue stock uwe sawa lakini hawa wataenda kazi wapi for the next six months for the next one year